So welcome to another Machine Monday. Today I want to talk to you about the lesser known catalytic converter. In fact, every single one of you that own a vehicle actually own one of these. And what I want to focus on today is the, the main components of a catalytic converter and how we actually put them together on our production line. So starting off with the, the, the star of the show is the actual monolith or catalytic converter. This is where we put the precious metals on uh, and the exhaust fumes uh, flow through this and this is what extracts the, the nasty stuff out of the, the gases. This catalytic converter or monolith is supported by a ceramic mat. We typically wrap the mat around the, 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 the monolith and then we stuff it into a stainless steel can. And then once we stuffed it in, we then shrink the can down to the desired size, ending up with this catalytic converter. So now I'm gonna take you step by step through the process. So starting out over here, this is where we have a, a mat loading facility. The machine would typically drop the mat over here. We take a, a, a weight measurement of the mat. And the reason why we take the weight measurement of the mat is we want to exert a certain spring load on the monolith as we support it in the stainless steel can. So the, ne the next operation is a monolith measuring machine. And again, the parts are automatically loaded into the station, uh, automatically loaded onto the mon monolith measuring machine. And here we would take uh, measurements of the monolith at three different heights at a 50 micron resolution at a repeatability of uh, at least 20 microns. So a very critical station to take the dimensions of the monolith. We would use these dimensions the, the, of the monolith plus the weight of the mat that I indicated earlier to determine the size and diameter of the stainless steel can a little bit later. So now we're at the, the auto wrapper and the pressing station and over here the, the robot would come and place the mat uh, in its right position. We see we have the centralizing mechanism both in both axes. The robot will come and basically apply the monolith into the wrapping station, uh, into the wrapping tool, and eventually the wrapping tool would wrap the mat around the, the monolith. The next operation is the robot would place the, the stainless steel can in, in front of the what we call the funnel tool, the, and then the wrapped monolith will be pressed into the funnel tool. So once it comes out of this machine, we've obviously got the, the wrapped monolith inside the stainless steel can. The robot automatically brings it over to our, our forming or a shrinking tool, it gets inserted inside and we actually shrink down uh, the monolith or the stainless steel can down to the specific diameter that we've calculated based off the mono measuring machine uh, uh, data as well as the mat weight data. The next operation is actually taking it onto a final measuring station where we confirm the diameter of the stainless steel can and if that's okay we send it to the marking station where we mark on the customer logos etc etc. In my thought piece Thursday that's coming up later on this week, I talk about the importance of catalytic converters even in this world of EV, um, so stay tuned for that. Here's to another Machine Monday.